file and printer sharing is a Windows operating system feature that enables your computer to communicate to each other, share documents, pictures, videos, and other files, and send print jobs to your printer. To set file and printer sharing, you need to first configure our client computer system. The first step in client computer configuration is setting the date and time. Right click on the area of time and date of the lower right part of the screen. Then select adjust date or time. In the date or time settings, select on to set date and time automatically. Or you can select off and select change to set date and time manually. and then click change. After that, we will set up the computer name. To do that, press Windows plus R on the keyboard. Then, type system properties computer name and press OK. And then select change and type the computer name that you want and type also the word group. Then select OK and allow the computer to restart to apply the changes in the system's settings. The third step in client computer configuration is installing network driver. Go to settings and then select update and security. Then click check for updates. You can update the available driver if there are any. The last step in client computer configuration is configuring network settings. To do that, right click on the network adapter icon, then select open network and internet settings. Then select change adapter, select the active connection and click on properties. And then select internet protocol version 4 TCP IPv4. After that, we will use dynamic IP address to avoid IP addressing conflicts. Select the obtain IP address automatically and obtain DNS server automatically. And then select OK. Next, is to check the network configuration by accessing the command prompt and use the ipconfig command. To set up LAN or local area network, prepare first your workplace that must be clean, dry, and spacious. Second, gather your equipments like the laptop, router, and Ethernet cable. Third, is to determine the number of computers that you want to connect so you will know if you need a switch or just a router. Fourth, plug one end of the Ethernet cable into your computer. Fifth, plug the other end of the cable into an open LAN port, which on our router. In our LAN setup, this router will serve as our access point, which must be connected to the main router. Sixth, 
set up or reset the router by clicking the small button at the back of the router. Seventh, connect the internet source, which will be our main router, to the access point. After all of those procedures, we can now set up file and printer sharing. In our client computer, go to settings and select network and internet. Under status, Select Network and Sharing Center, then click on Change Advanced Sharing Settings. Turn on File and Printer Sharing, and then Save Changes. After that, in our server computer, go to the Control Panel and select Hardware and Sound. Select device and printers, then right-click on the printer that you will be using, and then select printer properties. On the sharing tab, make sure to check the sharing this printer option, and select apply. After that, the printer is now shared in the network. We can now share files between computers and share printer to the network. As an example, we'll create a document file in the client computer. Copy the file, then go to File Explorer and go to Network. As you can see, the client computer could detect the server computer in the network. Double click on the server computer, go to Users and go to Public. There, you can paste the file that you have copied. Then. We'll go back to the server computer. Go to File Explorer. Go to Network. Double click on the server computer. Go to Users. And select Public. And there, we have the file from the client computer. So that is how you share files between computers in the network. You can now print the file that you have shared. And then the file will be printed in the printer. There's another way in printing files using the client computer without it directly connected to the printer. First, go to File Explorer, go to Network, go to Server Computer, and then right-click on the printer connected to the server computer. Then select Connect. Your client computer is now connected to the printer. Open the file that you wanted to print, then go to the Print section. Before printing the file, select the printer in the server computer, then you may now print the file. As you can see, the file is successfully printed in the printer. This is the network diagram of our LAN setup. With the file and printer sharing, the client computer can share files with the server computer and can print files using the printer even if they are not directly connected to each other.